Okay, in this episode we are going to learn how the memory is organized for an array elements. So for, for checking the memory organization of array elements, here in this example I declare two variables. First one is an integer array that containing four elements. Second one is a float value, float array that containing also four elements. Okay. So now here I am going to print out the memory address, memory location and the value of these two variables. So we have to start a loop. So for working with the loop we need an integer value. So I declare an integer value, integer variable i and here the initialization of this variable is start from zero and now these two variables two are containing four elements so we can put our condition like this i less than or equal to three this is because every array is count from index zero and now i update the variable okay now here i am going to print out the memory location and value present in these two variables so first here I'm going to print out the memory location and value of the integer variable. So use a print of statement. So put a new line. Now we have to print the memory location first. So percentage u equal to now we have to print out the value present in that particular memory location. So percentage d. First is the address so we have to get the address of each element present in the array so use the address operator and use the variable name and use the index okay so this will print out the memory location of each variable each elements present in the first integer array and now we have to print out the value present in that array so use n of I. Okay. So we have to print a message here. Print of integer variable details. Okay. Now we have to print out the memory location and address of the float variable float array. So use a print of statement here. Here it is. Float variable details. Integer variable. Okay. Now we can check the program. So here I'm going to compile the program. Yeah, the program not containing any error. So we can run it out. Run it now. So I run the program. Now from the output we can see that the memory locations for these two variables, the memory organization for these two variables are contiguous. That means the variable uh, the variable allocation the variable memory allocation is not random. The memory the each elements are allocated in adjacent sites. So in the integer case the first location is 96 and increment by 4 it is 0. Now for incrementation now again for incrementation. In the case of float value also the location is contiguous. Okay so in the case of an array the memory organization and the memory allocation is contiguous. Okay this is a very useful concept while you passing an entire array to a function in a C program.